Now you be the only one I see Anywhere I go I wanna be Hey guys, so I wanted to come another video um, talking about this Beauty Forever um, Malaysian curly hair. You guys are loving this hair, so I said I'm doing one more video on it and talk a little bit more about like how I like it, um, how I really, really maintain it, and you know, just other little things. Some questions that people ask me. So one thing is I'm going to show you guys how I keep, store, or hang all of my curly hair units. Um, curly hair is high maintenance, but if you take care of it well and follow the simple easy steps, the maintenance is not going to be hard. You have to baby curly hair because um, they're high maintenance. So I'll show you guys, I'm showing you guys how I, I'll cut to a clip how I um, <coughs> keep my curly hair. And the way I keep them like that on my, on my hanging on my door, it makes them for me to be like throw it on and ready to go. I don't have to always wet it or condition it or comb it or whatever because after I've worn them, I put it back like that and they stay like that. So this hair, it's exactly the same state as it was when I made my last video um, when I was doing my get ready with me, talking about wedding updates and stuff. So after that day, I came home and I just hung it on my door just like this. So nothing has changed, nothing has messed up, nothing got crusty, crody, nothing. So when it's like this, I'm able to just throw it on and go. So today, I'm going to throw it on and go. So this is how the curls look. I didn't have to um, wet it or condition or anything like that or brush it. So one thing is that curly hair, no matter where you get your curly hair from, curly hair sheds way, way more than wavy hair, straight hair. So keep that in mind when you're brushing your hair and combing your curly hair. I brush and comb my units maybe once or twice in two weeks. So let me say once a week or once every other week because they shed, curly hair sheds. So I don't have to, I don't make sure I don't comb it or brush it more than I ever need to. Only time I brush or comb it is when I'm conditioning it and it's drenched in water and conditioner so it's nice and slick so you don't pull it out too much when it's dry. Um, and I, I, don't, I only need to condition and wet it once a week. So um, this is how the unit is. I'm just going to put it on. These are my, my leave that I have for my curly units. This year, um, I've told you guys last year that I want to do more curly hair, curly hair stuff. So, and I want to try, you know, diff installing it and wearing it, you know, differently than I've worn hair before. And wear more down the middle parts and stuff like that just to get used to it. So I have these pieces of hair in front where I used to blend my unit and I just keep it twisted up so I'm gonna put my unit on right, so I have my unit on and I need to get a brush because I need to brush look at my edges they're like little crusty balls <laughs> so this is what it looks like and then all I have to do is just open up the twist here so I'll open it up like this just unravel it and it's in two pieces and the same with this one unravel it. I think this one might be. Mm, I don't unravel it too much. I don't want it to be frizzy, but I might have to do three pieces because it was uneven. Okay, so that's that. So that's how I open that up, and then I just position. I don't have a mirror in front of me. I just position the middle part to be mimicking how my hair is parted. I need to get a comb. Hold on. So I'm gonna just. Take this. So you don't know where my rat tail comb is. I'm gonna take this and open it up. All right, and then blend my leave out that I have. So one thing I kept saying is that I like how this hair—it's not a kinky curly; it's a silky curly. But you know, the curls are pretty tight enough that it has pretty good texture. So. It doesn't take much to blend with my own natural hair, which is good. And I have 4C hair. So if you have 4C hair like me, you know, this hair is good for you if you want to keep a little bit of hair out and blend it. Just the tiniest bit of hair out is good enough to blend. And you see how the curls are still defined, still nice and fluffy. They're not 
tangly or like frizzy or anything like that because I maintained them all week like that because all week I actually wore my kinky straight unit to work so my hair is exactly how it was when I made that video last weekend so it's been one week and that's how I maintain my units and keep them nice and fresh and they last so long and I won't need to condition or comb or brush his hair probably until because I'll probably wear it this weekend and then I don't know but I won't need to do anything because last time I conditioned it I did a pretty good job and let it air dry all day so it kept pretty well so so yeah so that's how it is um I forgot to get my brush to like brush right here let me just <laughs> see if that works just for the purpose of the video so yeah mm, I love this hair so yeah so um as I said um, I'll show you guys the brush that I use so this is the paddle brush that I use you can you so a paddle brush and a Denman brush they're both very very good for plopping and defining curls when you're conditioning um, but the Denman brush and the paddle brush they give the curls different patterns so a Denman brush will, will, will just like tight, tightly wring out those curls, make them tight. And it's good if you have like a, maybe a looser pattern or if you want a very tight curl, you know. So that's when I use my Denman brush. I use a paddle brush um, if I want the curls to be defined but not tight. So to make it fluffy like how it's fluffy. Like a Denman brush can't make it fluffy like this. So that's when I use this brush. So um, I got this brush. I think I got it from Sally's. No, I lie. I got it from Best Lace Wigs. It says Best Lace Wigs right here. But I know Sally's has pretty good Denman brush, um, paddle brushes. And I feel like if you want a good paddle brush for curly hair, like go to Sally's and get like a really nice one. It's going to cost you some dollars, but it's going to be a really good one and it's a good investment if you want to have really nice curly hair like this. So get a really good powder brush and then yeah, that's the kind of curl she'll be getting. So I think that's all I wanted to say about the hair. Um, I'll, link the, I'll link it down below for Beauty Forever. Um, as I said, Beauty Forever is my favorite um, company for curly hair. Um, I'll link down below my favorite, my top five favorite AliExpress hair companies and why and which ones I go to if I want a certain look. But other than, other than that, and I think that's it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Your money while I sing so. Man of bad, man of boss in all the so. Girl, if I'm yard, see if I'm yard. Me not be low and say she give me feel low and say let me the villa and say she give me feel low and say she give me feel low say she give me for me your sick. Enter the radar. Now you they mash up the place, ah. Uh.